Okay, geometry, chapter 7, section 4, parallel lines and proportional parts. All right, I've drawn um, a triangle. It's got some, it's actually two triangles. It's got some parallel lines there. BE is parallel to CD. Okay, so my, my first statement, if BE is parallel to CD, again, those... Uh, those long little train tracks there, that just signifies parallel. If those are parallel, then I have cut these two pieces into proportional parts. Okay, so I'm going to take AB, over BC, and that's going to be the same as AE, over ED. Okay, AB over BC equals AE over ED. And so let's put some numbers on these and solve a quick equation. Okay, so now I'm just going to substitute values. My AB is 7.5. My BC is 3. That's going to equal my AE, which I don't know, all over my ED, which is 2.5. So when I go ahead and do that cross multiplication, I've got 3x equals 18.75. And so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And so that tells me my missing segment, my x is 6.25. Okay. Okay, my next one is a mid-segment theorem. Um, has to do with the mid segment. Mid segment is I've got those two parallel lines in that BD, uh, this line right here, this line segment right here, you will notice connects the midpoints of both of those two sides of the triangle. Again, that's why we have the congruent sides here and here and here and here because that's the midpoint of those two. Okay, that is called the mid segment. In the mid segment, is equal to one half of the base segment, which is AE. Again, that mid segment. BD is equal to one half of the base segment, which is AE. All right, and that's pretty straightforward. Um, if BD is 12, then if we were trying to find AE, we would multiply both sides by the reciprocal of one half, which would be two. So that would mean AE would equal 24, according to the mid-segment theorem. All right, let's take a look at this one. Um, we've got our parallel lines that are cut by a transversal. I should go ahead and put the parallel triangles on there. Okay, so there's my parallel little marks on those. So AD is parallel to BE, which is parallel to CF. In this case, I can set up a proportion of their pieces. And so I can say that AB all over BC is proportional to DE all over EF. Again, it only works if those lines are parallel to one, in, to one another. So let's look at a little example on this one. Okay, so if I've got AB equal to 8, BC equal to X, DE equal to 9, and EF equal to 5, do a little cross multiplication here that gives me 9X equals 40. 
divide both sides by 9. And that's just going to give me 40 over 9. No need to take it any further if it won't reduce. Um, if you would like to make that into a mixed number, then that's going to be um, 4 and 4 ninths. 9 goes into 46 4 times. 30, yeah, 4 and 4 ninths. I would prefer that you just leave it that way. Okay, so that's all of Chapter 7, Section 4, about five and a half minutes.